I think it's time. What is happening, man? It's ghoul. Look, look at them. Look at them. <laughs> That's the voice of the blast confirmed. What is up, guys, and welcome to the Beyond Sanashi on Money Machines. In today, we're gonna play a 1v7 in Battle for Middle Earth 1 against the new AI of the patch 2.22, which we already did a few months ago, but it was the AI from the patch 1.06. This one is going to be way harder. I would say that one hard army from the patch 2.22 is stronger than three hard armies in the patch 1.06 together. So basically, we are not playing against seven hard armies, but we are playing against 21 hard armies. And to make it like in the films, we are going to play the Gondor against seven Mordors. And this is going to be fun, okay? When you define fun, is the fact that 21 Nazgûls are going to be inside your castle. A few inches later. In like five minutes. And for that reason, we need to be fast, okay? That's going to be the plan. Okay, okay. Wish me luck, boys, because I need it. Trust me on that one. Alright, so what we're gonna do now is first of all, we need to get those two farms under our <laughs> look. <laughs> I see you. I'm gonna make sure that the age of men isn't over and the time of the orc isn't coming, okay? That's gonna be my, my plan in this game. And we need to be kind of very fast in progressing. As you can see, the units in this patch are moving way faster than they are in the patch 1.06, which gives you um, the chance to advance way faster into the moment of fighting, you know? Okay, we need to build more stuff. I'm gonna build blacksmiths because they are a bit tankier than farms. They also provide us with the steel bonus. Very green took, don't I? Okay, we should be in a good spot. I'm gonna build one more. Then we should be good to go. Um, the thing is, we are against seven Mordors. And that means they can recruit seven Witch Kings. And in total, 14 Nazgûls. And the AI is kind of scripted. So they will recruit them simultaneously right so every single one of them is going to recruit their nazgûls pretty much at the same time and for that reason we need some sort of durability and tankiness that's very important hold on okay this spot is going to be safe for the market please that's going to be needed because there is zero percent chance if we can keep map control against the ai there are just going to be too many units on the field and uh, which with that like zero percent chance that we can keep it Let's use the block formation for more tankiness and let's not cash flow, shall we? Okay, so the good thing about the patch 2.22 is after we purchase the upgrades from the marketplace, we don't have to keep it anymore. So we can demolish it, which opens like one more extra spot inside the castle, right? So we should be in a good spot. I'm going to use heal also just to make sure. Okay, there were three hobbits and he immediately claimed this. Again, keeping map control is legit impossible. And we can't win this fight. But luckily we got roundabout a power point collected a bit more than that, to be honest. So it's pretty good because power points are required. So when it comes to upgrades, we need the iron ore. So this kind of makes no sense because we have only one farm and investing 1500 <laughs> for the one for the boost of the one single farm doesn't make too much sense. We might need it later on, then we can still build it up once again. You know what I'm saying? Look how many eyes of Sauron. Okay. So before we're gonna build any towers, we need to make sure to buy the upgrades. The Nomonorian, not the Nomonorian stonework. We actually need to buy the uh, laser towers, you know, from the from the stoneworker. Okay. Nice. So we get more money now, as you can see. The animation is also new, added to the patch 2.22. Earlier you couldn't tell visually if the farm or blacksmith is buffed or not. Now you can see it visually, the white glow animation around the blacksmiths, making sure that they are always up to date. And luckily, the AI has no siege weapons yet. Yet. That's the keyword here. But they will have it very, very soon. If you don't know, if you keep a Stormwalker inside your castle, you will get 20% discount on your stuff. So, for example, a tower will now cost only 640 instead of 800. And we have lots of spots to build towers at. So, for that reason, I'm going to keep it until I build every single one of them and then I can demolish it right after. Okay, I'm also gonna get this one actually, reinforced kit, just to make the, um, the gate a bit tankier. You know, just, you know, 
hope for the best but be prepared for the worst action you know okay i mean i wouldn't like to play like that to be honest with you but trust me on that one guys that's like the legit that's like legit the only way you can play against that because if you have no strong defense the second the nazgul's arriving in your castle you have like you are like doomed literally okay need more towers so one two three four more spots which means 1200 1800 around about 2500 we need still to do all of that stuff and um, trebuchet are kind of useless because the nazgul's first of all you can't get to hit the nazgul's with the trebuchet on top of the wall and also the nazgul's can one shot them okay oh you see like that's the, that's the spot that's the scout it's not gonna be the only Nazgul they're gonna be sending in. Trust me. Look, <laughs> that's where the fun begins, boys. Okay, luckily we got the chance to build every single one of them just in time. But I might still lose this actually. Oh, I mean, luckily our towers are hitting like a truck now. But you see how many of them are coming. The power points are rising to the sky. The Nazguls are falling down like flies. But before they do that, they killed my citadel, which means I need to invest now 1,000 to repair it. Kill the Nazgul. Okay, good thing is we got a lot of power points collected. Now three of them can be invested into the great company. Because what we need to do now is we can demolish this actually. We can buy the banner and build the archer range. Yeah, screech all you want. So the plan is, um, as you can eventually think, like... Gondor Knights would be kind of useless in this, in this, you know, <laughs> in this game. Because what are they going to do against Nazgûls? They would be completely useless and irrelevant. That's why we need to recruit archers. And with archers, I mean the rangers, okay? They're going to be very important with the heroes of Gondor, the captains of Gondor, Faramir and Boromir. We need to make sure to boost them so they have more damage and more armor and they don't get one-shotted. Look how many Nazgûls are coming in, boys, you know? <laughs> and they didn't even recruit the Witch Kings yet. But again, our towers are just too powerful at this point. The second the Nazgul is flying in, like 10 towers are shooting them at the face. And he has like no chance. Okay, hold on a second. Hey, when you have 6,000, you know what to do, right? I mean, it's pretty much like a math. You have 6,000. There is only one option. And that is called Gandalf the White. We also need Boromir. I mean, he got, you know, kind of lots of buffs actually in the patch 2.22. He's now way more important. I need to, I need you guys to see the animation when Gandalf is coming, which is also added to the patch 2.22, which you can, by the way, also download from the link in the description down below. A wizard arrives precisely when he means to. Oh yeah, a wizard arrives precisely when he means to. Okay, now we have all the three heroes beside uh, Peregrine Tuk. And he, I mean, let's be honest, he doesn't really do much for us, so we don't need him. What we can do now is we can, you know, summon the Rohan allies. Four of Eolinga. You see how smart the AI is? They are kind of not committing to my fortress because they have no siege weapons yet. So they don't want to feed me power points, you know? They stay in a safe area until my units are outside. There are thousands of units outside of the castle, but they just... Don't come close to my castle because they know they would get one-shotted by my towers and they would feed me power points. So AI is literally smart now, you know? Okay, let's recruit archers. We don't need this because what I'm going to do with these archers, I'm going to sell them. Because I don't want to invest any of my command points. As you can see, we have only 120 command points available. And we need to kind of be smart. Oh, oh. Oh, damn. Catapult is coming, boys, so we gotta be Nazgul. I need to open the gate. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Sea showers are coming too. Okay, let's kill this thing first. It's also so, so tanky, you know? Okay, sell them. Okay, nice. So now go and kill this tower, Gandalf. Uh, kill this. <laughs> Look, there is a tower. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny. Take this. Oh, catapult is so tanky, dude. I might need to use heal. I don't want to risk it, you know? I'm, I'm not going to risk it, actually. I'm so greedy most of the time, but I don't want to be greedy in this situation. 
Hey, don't attack my citadel like that. Let's sell them. Now we can get fire arrows. Okay, we killed the Nazgul. That's dope. And we need to kind of find a solution about this one. But luckily, we have a lot of power points in the bank. So we can call on the eagles, which we definitely need. Because there are some... Kat Faramia! Kill the catapults, please. Faramir get revived. Boromir, don't die. Boromir, let's close the gate. Let's close the gate. Please kill the catapult only. That's all I'm asking you for. Kill my Boromir too. Look, there are witch kings now. That's a different story, of course. They are way tankier. Can you please aim the dudes? I don't want I don't want to lose my thing. Oh, I'm gonna lose my citadel. Right? Yeah. That's a big oof, boys. Oh, man. The problem is the siege tower. Every tower is shooting at him, and he's like indestructible from normal towers. But luckily, we killed it and destroyed it. It means now. Oh, my goodness. Holy quackamole, man. I mean, what can man do against such a reckless heat? That's the question. I lost my heroes too, that's the worst part actually. We need to spam them. So we need to be strong enough to, uh, to kill the Nazgûls and the Witch King the second they get inside with our rangers. That's the most important part. The only good thing about the current situation is that we have enough money. But we are about to lose also our gate, which is not good at all. Let's kill this. Dude, Gandalf. So slow. I mean, I get it, you are old dude, but still, come on, hurry up. Okay, it's almost back up. Okay, let's get the most upgrades. That's very important. Fire arrows especially. It's a massive damage boost. And if you guys enjoyed this, please let me know in the comment section down below what you want me to play next. You know, the 1v7 situation in the patch 2.22. Which faction you want, to be, you want me to play against which faction? So, again, ideally, I prefer to have, like, the movie, the film environment. You know what I'm saying? Like, the Gondor against Mordor, for example. Just like in the films... We are able to summon the Rohirrim, just like in the films, the Eagles, like in the films, and when we needed also the EOD, just like in the films. Okay, we need to revive the captains. Oh my, he just killed like almost every single one of them. Okay, we need to spam. As you can see, the problem is we have only 120 available command points, boys. That's the very dangerous part about that situation. And each ranger will cost us 15 command points, right? So we can only recruit 9 of them. Man, the Nazgûls are so triggering! But I aimed... Nice, dude. Okay, nice. Huge. Around the well, they should be also able to respawn. I'm gonna build a statue here. I don't mind him destroying this. So we have like even more leadership with that. More armor, more damage, and also more combat experience. Which is always great. Which gives us the option to actually leave the gate opened. We can repair everything to make sure that everything is healthy. Because, you know, we can't camp it out. We need to push. That's the only way of victory. Okay. Okay. So the question is, who are we going for first? Should we go for this dude? Or for this dude. I think this one is going to be the more important one. Um, when you are finding yourself in a situation like that, what you need to uh, do is you need to understand that you have to have at bare minimum 5,000. Because the last thing you want is to not be able to capture the capture say it, uh, the castle after you, after you destroy it. If you can't do that, what will happen is the other AI will, you know, capture and, you know, kind of conquer the uh, the castle you have destroyed, then you have like gained zero out of it, you know? But luckily we have a lot of money and now we have full command points with all the heroes on the field. This guy is also leadership available, that's good. Um, we can give them aggressive stance, make sure that the ranges are using the skirmish formation for more DPS. Let's give them group number one, Boromir group number two, and Gandalf group number three. And let's move out. We have all the power points unlocked from the spare book, which is pretty good and also needed. Because we need to eventually summon the EOD, you know? The buildings are going to be now at level 3 by now. And the rangers are good in almost every single situation. But, uh, you know, they are kind of squishy. 
And Boromir's level 6, we, all, we also unlocked the Glory of Gondor, which means even more money. And level 7 is a massive power spike, the for Gondor ability. Okay. We need more levels on the Rangers. That's very important. Each level is increasing the damage output big time. Ganav also needs to be closer. I mean, I should be not worried about my base, I think. I think my base should be in a good spot. Kill the Nazgul! Nice, we did it. Okay, let's summon this here, if we can. Let's summon it here. Come on! I can't! Hey, stop. Oh my, hold on a second. I can't summon it, dude! Ganav, don't die. I'm gonna actually call on the EOD here, because the cutters are slaughtering. Literally slaughtering. We actually lost so many of our rangers too. Kill this catapult, please, Ganav. Okay, destroy the siege works. Rohirrim. Rohirrim! Can you please just do what I'm telling you to do? Okay. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use actually heal on them, so they can respawn a little bit. And they have like two siege works. That's very dangerous. I'm gonna summon the eagles too. Make sure to kill the catapult. Oh my goodness, too many of them, dude. Come on, Boromir, we're level 7 already, dude. Come on, please. I'm gonna summon even more rangers here. We, we lost so many of them. Like, we legit lost so many of them. And we can't even get the chance to destroy this. Okay, Boromir is level 7, let's use this. Okay, nice. The Forgone ability gives us more damage output, 60% more damage, and also, um, the, you know, it stacks with the leadership too. So, with this and this combined, Boromir can offer, for a short duration at least, 120% damage leadership, which is crazy. That's why leveling up the heroes is so rewarding in this game. Some heroes are more like a sportive design, like for example Boromir, with the Horn of Gondor stun, you know. Okay, we need to make sure to destroy this. You see how hard it is, you know, without Gondor Knights? Because we are not tanky enough. Maybe I should have gone for Gondor Archers. Maybe it was a mystique. It was definitely a mystique. I need to bail. I need to bail, boys. Oh man, I don't want to lose my highly leveled units, though. Do it, Ganav. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Nice. Run, you fools. Fly, you fools. Okay. So, luckily, we have, like, reinforcement group here. And the good thing is, when you have damage units like that, you can extend your command point. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna group them with these two dudes. I'm gonna leave the others in the base. And as they are recovering, as you can see, we are able to get more and more units. So, the command points are calculated per unit and not per battalion. And when you can save one single unit from the battalion and they are level 2 or higher or you have a well... It can respawn slowly, but surely over time, and then you are good to go. Look, you see? Now we have a lot of command points. Okay, the good thing is, some of them are highly leveled. We can also use the Horn of Condor to stun them. And it's kind of funny that they are using the Eye of Sauron simultaneously. It looks like we have, like, deja vu situation, you know? Okay. This is number one. Who's killing my Boromir like that? Don't kill my Boromir, please! I need him! Who killed him? I don't see anything from the eyes of Sauron, dude! It's so triggering, man. Let's level them up with the Horn of... with the... Captain of Gondor ability. Um, you know, as you can see, the Fort Gondor is a new ability, which is like a rework of the Captain of Gondor from Boromir. Earlier in the Gondor faction, there were two heroes, Boromir and Faramir, they could, have, they could level up the units, which was not very really rewarding, and especially because... Hold on a second, hold on, okay, okay. I need to summon my Rohirrim. There are too many catapults, and catapults, they really hurt. Like, they can one-shot our rangers every single time. Okay, so we can ignore them completely. I want I want to use the Rohirrim and Ganav to actually uh, kill the Siege Warg. So making sure that he can't get any more Siege Weapons anytime soon. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go to this location, please. 
You kill this. Fair enough. Okay. I'm gonna use heal here. Okay, we killed it. And when we can destroy that, it's gonna be huge. Okay, we killed the catapult. Okay, nice. Okay. That's very big, by the way. That's huge. Nice. But I'm level 10. He's showing his quality. Who would have thought about that? I'm kind of a little bit triggered because I can't use this land anywhere. Come on now. Okay, finally, man. Yanov needs to stay close. Boromir is almost back on the menu. That's good. The problem is, um, the ranges are kind of slow and they have like crazy unit production speed. That means by the time we kill the squad in front of us, they have like more of them are coming. Pretty much. We need to stack leadership. I'm gonna summon this so they can tank the damage. I don't mind about them. They are like only for a short duration anyway. I can't keep them forever. But I would like to keep my ranges, the higher level ranges, definitely alive. Kill the Nazgul. Should be no problem now as we are highly leveled. Boromir is also back on the on the field. And he's very important. Like when you play Gondor against Mordor also in a multiplayer game, Boromir is definitely important. Because you need him to be at bare minimum level 4. For the leadership part. Because when it comes to deal with Nazgûls and Witch King and Trolls, you want to have burst damage, you know? You can't out-sustain them. When they can hit you a few times, you will lose your squad. As you have seen eventually in this game, ranges are very squishy. Okay, Gandalf is in a good spot. Should be... I mean, it takes actually ages to destroy this. Let's use the Cloud Break. I think we're gonna take down the Citadel first, so he can't rebuild stuff anymore. These rangers can also draw the swords. Should be able to one-shot it. Okay, now we have the four, four Gondor ability too. And then we have also Gandalf level 10. Which is pretty dope. And we gotta keep recruiting more units though. I'm gonna actually queue up 20 of them. So we can keep getting more units on the field. And once again eventually be able to extend the command point limit. And whenever the captain of Gondor is available, we can use it. Just why not, you know? But the level 3 buildings and the towers are actually slaughtering us. It's not even funny. I mean, the bees, as you can see, is in a very good spot. And they are kind of um, all gathering to this location, you know, on the left side. Boromir level 8, that's dope. I mean, after level 7, you don't get really stronger that much. But again, each level will also mean more damage output and more health. Okay, we can summon the Rohirrim just to make sure to destroy this a bit faster. We have almost, we have not almost, we have actually 30,000 plus in the bank. It means we can not only buy one, but we can buy actually six castles at the same time, you know? Rohirrim! Keep the leadership available. So our army has right now 60% damage and 100% armor. 50 from Faramir and 50 from Gandalf. And they still die in a few seconds against these towers, you know? Because ranges are the squishiest units in the game. I think they are almost squishier than, than even uh, lumber mill workers, you know? Not even kidding. Okay. Dude, that's huge. Okay. Hard army has been defeated. Not that hard anymore, huh? We gotta bite, though. We gotta bite, 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 bite. Okay, nice. Ooh. It's huge. That's dope. Okay, so what we need to do now is build a statue and a well, first of all. Then we're gonna build farms, 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 because we don't need blacksmiths anymore, as we have already six of them. Every, uh, you know, when you have six, everything else is kind of overkill, and we don't need that. But what we need to do is we need to build the marketplace, and also invest the money immediately into the towers. So, um, in order to conquer the other castles, we need to make sure to keep the ones protected we have, right? So, and for that reason, the towers are essential. Otherwise, we would be stuck in this, in this, uh, you know, in this castle, and we couldn't be able to move. Gondor must stand. If we can now get this one, and also this one, just why not? Hold on, I have also an idea. I want to actually get this beautiful wall, the Nomonori and Stormwalker wall, to get. You know, the base in a better look. Okay, dope. We are healed up and we have also this two. And I want to get them also to this location actually. Okay. 
So for the next big fight, we have the Eagles available, the Rangers available from the spell book, and also the EOD available. And also we have the Word of Power, just for the worst case scenario. So the way I want to move on, actually, I want to kind of move on from the left to the top, and from the top to the right, and from the right to the bot, and then we leave the middle one for the last. Okay. Hold on, this and this, number one, number two, and number three. Dope, dope, dope. Okay, let's go, boys. Let's go. A click. So they can, when you E click on a, on a spot like this, as you can see, my cursor is kind of changing, right? When you E click, it means the units are going to automatically attack everything they see until they reach this point. As, as, you, as you can, for example, see, they attack this, even though I didn't order that. E click is actually very important um, because, you know, sometimes you lose your clicks. So when you want to click on one thing, you might misclick. And e click is like a straight up order which can which will tell them hey you attack legit everything you see until you reach the spot level 10 rangers you love to see it okay let's recruit i mean pretty <laughs> i want to get them back on the menu okay okay look at this beautiful wall but this wall is looking different than that one so basically you need to buy this numenorian stone worker for each a castle individually. I'm gonna use the Alvin Wood here for even more leadership because it looks cool. The Witch King. No man can kill me. But Boromir is not a man, he's a beast. Look at them shining bright like a diamond. He looks so cool, dude. And did you guys know that the ranges you can recruit from your archery range are not the same ranges you can recruit from, you can summon from the spell book? Look, uh, as you can see, they have like the line formation or the skirmish formation, the chance to fire arrows and banner. But when you summon these ranges, they look a bit different and they can also draw the swords. So they can be like, um, they are pretty much like an Alvin Alliance special summon from the Rohan faction. But you can change formation with them. So they have a little bit less damage, but they have more utility because they can also draw the swords, which makes them immune to be trampled. And as you can see, immune to trample while using swords. And also they can be used to deal damage to buildings. Oh, the Nazgul! Okay. I'm gonna summon the Rohirrim just to be able to destroy this a bit faster. Four Eolingas! No siege works, no problem. I'm gonna destroy this one first. The Nazgul shouldn't stand a chance. The fear effects, they don't work on us anymore because it only affects the units when they are level 1 or 2. At level 3 or higher, you have automatically fear resistant, but also in addition to that, Arami also offering a fear resistant. I mean, look at the level 3 buildings. So they are so tanky, man. Holy moly. Okay. Very green. Took. Okay. We need to make a deal. If I get Peregrine Took to level 10, you need to leave a like on this video. Okay? I mean, that's something rare. Okay? And for that reason, I will try hard to make it done, to get it done. But if we can get it done, you need to make sure to leave a like. I think that's a that's a fair deal. Okay? I'm going to use here actually. Hold on a second. Boom. Nice. Come on. Look. <laughs> Look, he's level 4 already, dude. Let's go. Oh, Peregrine took. Go, 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 go. I'm gonna use the whole ground stance. It's, you know, he, this way he doesn't make anything crazy. Look, there is a hobbit hiding inside the ranger army. It takes us so much time to actually destroy those slaughterhouses. It's kind of crazy. The enemy, they are here. Okay, that's good. Nice. So, um, from 7 we have defeated 2, and that means we have only 5 more to go, right? They're all level all level 2, I mean team 2. Okay, we should be in a good spot. Okay, let's buy this castle. And again, the same situation, we need to make sure to protect the castle by building towers and then Numenorean Stoneworker. The marketplace can be demolished, we don't need to keep it anymore. I mean, money is not a problem, as you can see in Tal, right? Because now, at this point of the game, we have reached a stage in which Gondor is, you know, Bill Gates. 
So, BBB, that's the shortcut. And when you play this game, you need to master, or not master, but at least know the shortcuts. It's important, you know, the speed is the key to victory. It's about 10 point speed. How many Nazgûls? Holy moly! Look how many of them, dude! Nice! Like, more of them are coming. You shall not pass. Okay, we killed. And hey, hey, hey. Our Peregrine took is getting almost. But he killed almost all the ranges, my man. That's tilting. I mean, I'm being honest. That's really tilting. What happens here in the meantime? What happened here? I didn't pay attention and. Oh my. Okay, um, hopefully I will not be dis losing this. The problem is, oh my goodness, the problem is um, the army I have is very strong, but it's also very immobile, right? So we need to make sure to not have to walk all the way to downstairs, you know, to, to defend this. This beast should be able to defend itself. That's very important. Otherwise, it will be like a loop situation and we will never get through this. So we need to be time efficient. I'm going to use heal here on all of them. To make sure to regenerate them a little bit. If also EOD. But let's not let's try to not use it. Boromir and also Peregrine took. Where are you, my friend? I need you. I need you to get level 10. Hold on a sec. I don't wanna. Okay, let's kill this, please. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Ranger level 10 is running it down, literally. And we lost him. Oh, yikes. That's tilting, man. Blast this kind of. Take this. I'm a servant of the secret fire, the wield of the flame of Arnor. Darkfire will not avail you. Flame of Udun. Oh, Reolingas. I'm gonna use EOD. I, I, I don't like. I'm tilted. <laughs> I want, okay. Hey, hey, I'm not tilted anymore, guys. Remember the deal when I said 15 level 10? You know what to do, okay? A deal is a deal, boys. A deal is a deal. I'm gonna hide them so I don't lose them. <laughs> Alright, let's destroy this. Okay, we can also use the history on this thing. On the Baradur. One does not simply walk into Mordor, huh? Are you sure about that? Nice. Okay, that means he won't be able to rebuild anything. But we have legit no units on the field. What is happening? Uh, hold on. I'm gonna show you the strength of the new summon. Draw the sword, rangers. It's not regular ranger army, that's, these are the great company. For me, can you do some stuff? Kill this trebuchet, please, or catapult. Dude, our wall is looking not very healthy at this point, I need to be honest. Just kill the catapults. For me, is doing his thing, that's good. We can use the Horn of Condor to stun. And War of Power is almost available too. The Wombo Combo, stun and blast. Again stun. Let's kill his catapults too. Okay. Oh my goodness. Please don't die enough. I have the shield bubble for the worst case scenario. I'm not worried. I've been a... I will fight for the end. Okay, I think we need to kind of bail. And that's tilting. Hold on. I think it's time. What is happening, man? I was winning this game a few minutes ago. And now they have like the craziest comeback of the history of BFME games. What the heck is that? Did I lose my gun? Okay, nice. I'm fine. Okay, let's make a, let's make a special thing. We go up for double stable. I think we need stable at this point. Because the rangers, as you can see, they are not only taking ages to destroy the catapults. But also ages to destroy buildings and they are very squishy. They are taking too much damage and they die in a few seconds. I mean, we still need a few of them, definitely. I'm gonna demolish this also for a well, for this, for the recovery. We need to build a well because Gennaf is very low, so... Oh man, these catapults are triggering me. Okay, you know what? You know what? It's time, boys. 
You shall not pass. Okay. Recover, please. Okay, 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 okay. Be careful. Stable. Oh, I can't. I have... Okay, we need to cancel or stop making these. Okay, we need... Okay. The problem is now we are command points kept because we kept recruiting more of the rangers and we need to kind of lose them now at this point, right? This piece is in a kind of good spot. Um, we can build a tower here, just why not? Okay. I mean, we dealt hella damage to this dude, so he shouldn't be able to recover anytime soon. And we have healed up fully. We have only two ranges remaining on the field. Can you imagine that? Like, we had so many of them. But you can see the durability of the catapult, right? The catapult doesn't take too much damage from the normal tower, so you need fire arrow to deal damage to it. Oh my goodness, man, it hurts. Look, they almost get one-shotted. Uh, but it's good, because, you know what? It, but it's stable time. Stable time. More catapults around this lo location. Oh, Reolingas! Just like in the films, Gondor calls for it, and Rohan will answer. Master the Rohirrim. In the Rohirrim, I would be so grateful if you can destroy this ugly building. And he has two of them too, man. Yikes, bro. Can you destroy it? Nice, so good job, boys. Good job, boys. Okay, so Faramir. Um, hold on. Need to micro a bit. We are command points kept again. Kill, kill this catapult. Okay. But the Nazgul was scaring them off, okay? Now we have, a, we have two armies. So we have a ranger army and also we have like a Gondonite army. That's pretty good because Gondonites, they are once again way tankier and also way better when it comes to destroyed buildings. So, And also quite tanky against catapults. Right now, can I so? Okay, we have double leadership also for the Gondonites. That's good. Gandalf and also Faramir. Too many catapults, man. Too many catapults. Let's use this and here's couple of pikemen so we need to kind of avoid them we need to kill the catapults first and then just destroy yeah of course the timing the timing of the nazgul oh golo what who came back uh, it's a tilting i'm gonna summon the eagles here Kill the catapults, please. Kill the catapults, please, eagles. You don't drive me crazy, man. The catapults, man, is crazy, you know? Okay. Oh, my. What happened to... Oh, my God. No, no. Okay, they are here. Okay, I was like, how did they die? I'm tilted. You know what time it is. It is time for the AOD. That's the, that's the beginning of the alphabet, you know? The Witch King of Engmar. Meet Gandalf the White, Mifrandia. Pew! You wanna do this? You wanna do this? I'm gonna bait you in. Okay, I, okay, it was wasted. The rangers were able to finish him off. Okay, let's. I can't even summon them. Do we have more units coming up anytime soon? Okay, borrow me and the rangers. They need to reinforce this army too. I'm gonna summon. Do I need to summon it here? I don't. I hope not. Okay, so I'm gonna summon it here. So thank you to the buildings, man. Pardon me, get mounted. Attack, 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 attack. Come with me. 
forward. For Gondor! For the White City! Nice tool. Okay. Okay, finally, man. That took actually so much time. Holy quackamole. The catapults again! Yeah, kill them, kill them, kill them. I don't mind. I want to have more Gondor Knights on the field anyway, so... Okay. The Nazgul and the Witch King are coming. How are they? Farami is not nearby, right? Okay, that's why. They are level 2 only. Only the level 10 was able to not get scared because we have no fear resistant. Man. Do it, Gandalf. Take this. He's the servant of the secret fire, the wielder of the flame of Arnor. Okay, let's buy this. 1-1. One, one. Nice, let's go. Okay, so um, this one should be protected. We're gonna build double well. Oh my... What? How many, man? That's crazy. Oh, this is... I will have in my dreams tonight the Nazgûls. Literally crushing us. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. I like the new dead animation so much. That they, they, they are falling on the ground instead of exploding in the air. I like this actually a lot. Okay. Should be in a good spot. We have still three rangers, you know, it's not the end of the world. Destroy. Okay, we're gonna, once again, the plan was to uh, get to the top and then to the right. So the next target is gonna be this dude. And hopefully we can finish him off without the need of the rangers. I mean, we will have the eagles very, very soon available for the worst case scenario. Nice tool. That's huge. That's huge. Okay, let's come in also these dudes. Four Feolingas. Okay. Cloud breaking. And just destroy everything. What is happening in the meantime here? Borrow me. Can you please take care of this catapult? Please. And more of them are coming from every single location. Just destroy everything. Attack the buildings, please, if you don't mind. Where is my Gandalf? Actually, he's taking so much damage. Oh, there are some runes, that's why. They're pikemen. They slaughter out of the mounted heroes, but not anymore, because we blasted them again into the abyss. We killed the Radar Imperius, that's dope. Just focus on the buildings. Just focus on the buildings. That's all you gotta do. Focus on the buildings. And we need to... Oh! And Boromir died too. I don't even know how Boromir died, to be honest with you. What happened here? Oh yeah, <laughs> the longer the game goes on, the more mistakes are going to be made, boys. But I don't mind, as long as my Gandalf is alive, I'm happy. Be defeated, son. Be defeated, son. Yes, stop. Yes, boys. What happening here, man? Come on, kill us. Please. We lost every single ranger, by the way, in the meantime. Can you imagine that? That's so unfortunate. But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We did it. So, we defeated one, two, three, four of them. It means only three of them are remaining to get the inevitable victory. That's what you expect on this channel, and you'll get what you expect, okay? Okay, deal. Alright, so money is not a problem, but I like to have a big number here, you know what I'm saying? Because I can never reach this number on my bank account. Why not in the game? I want to at least be rich in the game, you understand? 
Okay, let's do this. Oh, oh, Ganoff. What is Ganoff doing on on on, <laughs> on the wall? Okay, we have also more command points available. Now we have the full Gondonite action. Okay, I mean, that was kind of scary. Okay. Um. Oh, what? Oh, oh. There comes the big boy. Okay, guys, you know what time it is, right? You know what time it is. Hold on. I need to damage him a little bit, though, with the EOT. Hold on. Take this. I'm a servant of the secret fire. Builder of the flame of honor. Am I gonna miss it? Yeah, I'm gonna miss it. In the meantime, my my army is legit getting slaughtered by the by the by the Balrog. He's walking over them and he's outrunning my EOD too. And we have no more rangers. Can you imagine that? That's tilting, man. We need to keep recruiting more of these units too. That's the problem. But luckily we have towers. And I missed my lightning sword. Dude, I'm so bad. There they are. What should we do? What? <laughs> okay. Alright. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Abort the mission, abort the mission. Let's blast them. The runes, they are kind of hard countering our Gondonite. So we need to kind of get rid of them with the Gandalf, you know? Gandalf can one-shot them, no problemo. Boromir can be also sent to this location. Okay. I mean, you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanted that, you know? You wanted that. And they are still not dead. Okay. I will show you a strategy, like, from Captain Jack Sparrow. You need to run. You need to fight to run. Never mind. Abort mission, abort mission, abort mission, abort mission! I mean... I'm command points kept. But I will beat them into the towers now. Die now. No man can kill me, but towers can destroy me. <laughs> Take this. Nazgul. Look, look at them. Look at them. <laughs> this is so funny. Where is Boromi? Boromi is taking some damages. And we need to summon these dudes. Man. These catapults are annoying. You see purple and also the red. There are two different Mordors sending catapults to our base, to our castle. Okay, so we need to attack this guy first, and then we need to go to the bottom one, and then this one is going to be the last, okay? Deal. So we can also move from this location. We don't have to go all the way around. I see a switch works here. That's the most tilting building in the game. Okay, nice. So... Just the buildings. That's very important. Don't fight the runes, man. Don't fight the runes. Come on now. I need to blast them. Just the buildings. Yeah, exactly. Exactly like that. That's what... That's the voice without blast confirmed. I, I, I admit...
What? Just attack the building, bro. Come on now. Look how many runes. He's hard countering us. Look how many, dude. Do it, Ganov. Finally, Ganov. Farami, 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 Farami. Look the runes in the porcupine formation. Okay, I need to outsmart him. I have an idea. I have an idea. Hold on a second. You guys go here. I have an idea, guys. You know me, right? Nah, there we go. <laughs> Get out, please, son. Okay, but imagine losing this right off the bat. There are some level 5 runes because they killed they just every single gun the night of us. Okay, we need to build stuff so we don't get destroyed. Then we need to invest all the money we have. And, you know, we can't invest that much money anyway because we are literally super rich. But we, we have almost lost every single gun the night on the field. That's very, very unfortunate. But we have, of course, way more than that in the production base. And Farami needs to be revived once again. And our Hobbit is, you know, in a safe spot. You know, he's chilling, you know. Cloaked, having a good time. Oh boy. Kinda, kinda meh, because as they are running, maybe I should have destroyed the one in the middle first. But, you know, it's fine. Okay. So now we are moving to the bottom right one. Actually, let's do it right now. We don't have to hesitate, we don't need to wait. We can do it right now. And the Nazgul is kind of hunting us all the time, you know? Okay, I mean, they, sh they, have no they have like no chance. Until they get like siege weapons on the field, they cannot destroy the castle, so I'm not worried at all. At all. And also, we are kind of lucky that they didn't recruit Mumakias. Like, it's like a RNG kind of thing. Sometimes they do it, and sometimes they don't. You shall not pass. Oh man, the Witch King. My micro is legit so bad in this game, man. What? 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 me one we wanting <laughs> Balrog. Let's go. But what happened to all my Gondonites? I cannot believe it. Did I just lose them all? I legit lost them all. Oh boy. Man, the Nazgul is messing me up so much. It's so tilting too. I have like no units on the field anymore here. The Nazgul killed them all. And there is another Balrog. And catapults. Dude, I have the feeling that the, uh, the, the the difficulty is now harder after we defeated and destroyed five of them. What is happening? Uh, take this, Balrog of Morgoth. You wanna do? You wanna play rough? 
Say hello to my little friend. Just like in the films, boys. Here, what? That's what you get delivered here. Take what? Not like the films when the tower is killing him. Do it, do it, kind of. Boom. Okay. I mean, Badro uh, kind of killed him. Okay. Deal or no deal? Like he didn't die because his time was up. He died because we killed him with Ganov. Oh my goodness, man. Oh boy, uh, this is so tilting. Uh, Faramir, get mounted, please. Okay. So now we have more leadership, at least that's good. <laughs> Look, my wall. <laughs> my wall is looking like plap. Literally. What is happening to my wall, man? Okay, finally. He destroyed it. The catapults are just too tanky, you know? That's the problem that we got, boys. I mean, this game is going for a long time now, by the way. Holy guacamole. And it's not like I'm messing it up. I'm, I'm literally trying to win, you know what I'm saying? It's not like I'm not, I'm not trying to lose this game. Look how many units. And all of them are kind of countering my horses, too. Oh, it was a mistake. I should have used that on this location, man. It was such a big mistake. It's tilting. Just, 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 go, 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 go. Okay. So let's first of all summon the Rohirrim. So we can, you know, send them in first. They, they can die. I don't mind about them. I can't keep them anyway for a long duration. So it won't hurt me if they die. This guy was rebuilding the full castle, by the way. So Gandalf, you please blast them. We kill the siege works first, and then what we need to kill definitely right after is this Haradrim Palace, level 3 nonsense. Now we kill the, we kill the Nazgul. Kill the catapult. Okay. Just kill the Haradrims, please. Oh my, there are too many Haradrims. Bro, there, there are just too many of them. What is this Haradrim production? It's like... But where is he getting them from? I don't get it. Okay, I think we cannot destroy him, but what we need to do is destroy the Haradrim Palace at least. It's the least what we need to do. Faramir? Don't die. Faramir, where are you? Okay, Faramir. Can I go, go, go back, go back, go back, go back. Okay, let's build double well here in the stable. And then keep producing more units. Because we end up losing so many units. The counter system is so big. And there is another Haradrim Palace, by the way. Yikes. Okay, I mean, at least we, we didn't lose the heroes, and, but we lost Boromir to uh, Balrog before. So let's repair this all. Come on, <laughs> I, I'm losing my mind. Okay, I mean, we should be in a good spot. Like, we, this, we, we dealt great amount of damage. The problem is, I can also, of course, make rangers, but there is another one in between. It was a mistake from me to not kill this guy first. Like, he's kind of, you see what's happening? So, my units are getting bullied by the time they are trying to reach this area. And most of them are dying eventually. Just at auto attack, okay. Okay, let's go. We meet here, and then we go ham, boys. Do I? Do we have War of Power? Nope, not yet. But it will be there very soon. Um, we keep producing more rangers all the time, too. So, we have like a ranger army around this location. I mean, I wouldn't call it the army. It's like a, a small group of rangers, but it's better than nothing. Okay. So now, let's try to finish it off. Again, without War of Power, it would be kind of risky, because he has just too many runes, but... Man, okay. It's so tilting! Okay, 
Oh wow, man. Like... Like, that's what I was trying to say at the beginning, you know what I'm saying? You can't win with Gondor Knights. Like, that is just too much. Too much counter. And I hear Boro... Um, not Boromir, I hear... <laughs> the Balrog of Morgov. I'm losing my clicks too. Kill him, please. Runes are coming too. Just kill the kill the Witch King, please. And Palro and Nazgul. Boromir versus the Balrog round two. No, no, no. Okay. Oh my, okay, nice, nice, okay. I'm just gonna ignore everything, actually. I'm just gonna go for this castle already. Because we have War of Power now, we have also EOD. I'm gonna ignore them too, if I can, of course. I mean, there are just too many. Look how many runes he has, boys. Do you see that? It's kind of nutty. I guess just too many of them. I mean, I could have used War of Power, but I think I'm gonna save it for the, for the base. So I'm gonna use it when he's coming back to the base to defend, and I can use it right after. Ideally... Uh, hopefully we can win, destroy this without... Nah, I'm gonna just use EOD. But I may get dismounted. Gandalf, please Easter this dude. And Farami, you can finish him off with your warning arrow. Let's summon everything. Literally everything. Okay, we wombo combo him. Gandalf is tanking all the towers, so we gotta be careful. Let's heal. Kill this catapults. And I'm going for the War of Power moment. Nice, so we killed most of them. Just destroy the buildings. Please. What happens here? Where did we lose? Oh, there is a Bal bottom me against Balrog again, the round two. Summon everything. Sa Stop attacking the units. Attack the buildings. <laughs> this is so tilting, man. Come on now. Just destroy the buildings. You can do it. I believe in you. There's not many production buildings left on the field anymore. So we just... I I, we, I cannot believe it. We can't do it once again. Can you guys imagine? We cannot do it once again. Reinforcements. Go, go, go. And we lost even Gandalf. I'm about to lose my mind. I mean, boys, there are only two hard armies left. And why is this so difficult all of a sudden? Go, 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 go. Parami, don't die, please. Oh, he's not even mounted, that's why. Okay. Do we, have, do we have ranges? No, we don't have any ranges on the field either. So. They are killing us. The black orcs. My hobbit got also kind of... This cloak. Uncloaked. Okay. Oh, run, run, run. Don't die. Peregrine took. Okay. Our castle is under attack! I hear that... Because the only reason is because we didn't just focus on this guy first. I'm telling you. Because he's so close to this guy, then they are committing both to this location and they have like 5,000 rune soldiers. Which, you know, they might... They kind of make my Gondor Knights kind of... Not kind of, like, absolutely useless. Steeple. I told you guys to move. Can you please move? Please. I'm, I'm being kind to you. Please. Okay, we need to wait for Ganav too. Look how many runes he has, dude. Uh. Okay, um, Faramir, get mounted for leadership. And you guys, and we go ham. We don't waste a single second. We need to destroy him. Like, he has not much left in the, in the castle, unless he was able to rebuild everything once again. But he shouldn't have... Uh, too much left in the castle, beside 5,000 rune soldiers! Look, my Gondor Knights, they are literally getting crushed. Focus down the buildings. Please. 
Just focus down the buildings. Come on, we can do it. Come on. Come on. Please. Did we do it? Yeah. Faramir died, but without a sacrifice, that can't be victory. So I'm fine, fine. I'm fine with that. Faramir, I'm proud of you. What? What did they once again? What? How? Oh my goodness, the catapults. Okay, it's not a big deal. We did it, boys. We did it. I mean, there is only one guy. So it's a 1v1. And I'm telling you, the 1v7 it, to start with was easier than the 1v2, even though we had like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 castles. Can you imagine that? It's pretty ironic to me, if you ask me. I mean, we can build whatever here. Doesn't really matter. I'm gonna build a well. Actually, double well. Just why not? We need to build towers, though. Because they are sending still pikemen to this location, and pikemen are too dangerous. Did we revive Faramir? Yes, we did. Kill this, kill this, kill this. Towers, towers, please, please, please. Okay, nice. I'm gonna wait a little bit here for them to recover. We have more Gondonites in this location. And eventually, we will get even more from this location. As you can see, the command points are increasing every single time we kill somebody. And it was at the beginning 120, remember? Oh, there is Balrog. Okay, abort mission then. Close the gate, hope for the best. What is he gonna do? What are you gonna do, wizard? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, Balrog? What is the plan? What is today on the menu, boys? He's confused. Me closing the gate confused him so much. He's like... I don't know what to do. Okay, he knows what to do. He knows what to do. Okay, okay. He destroyed the gate. Okay, now we go all to this location. But we need to kill the catapults first. There are no more pikemen around this, so we should be in a good spot, hopefully. Okay, now we can fight this. No problem. I'm gonna use also the Alvin Wood. Let's get Faramir mounted and let him join with the Gondonites, okay? Okay. And you guys also now move with Boromir together to this location. Oh, there are too many pikemen inside this piece, huh? Keep Ganav. It's your time to shine, bro. You know what time it is, Ganav. You know what time it is. Are you guys prepared for one of the juiciest war of powers you have ever seen? Boom, son. That's what I do. What of everything. Just use everything here, I don't mind. Kill this runes with the... Can I come, 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 come. I'm hurt. It's unhurt that you are hurt. The eagles are coming. Okay, we are, we are kind of sandwiching him from now, from every single location. That's pretty good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna summon everything. Just why not? Like Q and E click. Q and E click. I literally make Q and E click. Okay. Oh man. This was kind of rough, dude. Like, guys, I'm trying. I mean, of course, I'm rusty now. I didn't play BFME 1 in the patch 2.22 for a long time now. Especially in multiplayer scene. It's been like a couple of weeks. But I can 100% guarantee you that it's way harder than the patch 1.06. Maybe you have noticed in the game that the AI is now way smarter with, you know, commitment, with rebuilding stuff, with using proper powerpoints and using stuff properly. They are moving way faster. They have, like, crazy production speed. They produce units way faster. So long story short, the patch 1.06 difficulty is nothing in compared to this difficulty. And I, by the way, I just didn't pay attention. I thought we're going to automatically win the game and we still didn't win the game. Faramir and Faramir. Faramir. Faramir is getting 1v1 by the level 3 Lama Mill. Can you guys imagine? 
The runes are driving me crazy and we are kind of literally on the, LV, on the enemy lane and we have like zero leadership bonuses on there. Just go ham. Just go ham. But I mean, go back. You don't go ham. You go home. <laughs> okay. He was getting 1v1 one, one by the Lambert Mill level 3, guys. That's unbelievable. Boromir, use your ability, maybe. Uh, Boromir, don't die. I mean, he's too squishy, too. Okay. Just go ham. Just go. Where are the other Gondor Knights? They are coming also from the other location. They are literally... Everybody is trying to fight the runes. Like, you can see when you are not trying to micro... And you are being lazy like I am right now. Then your units are going to try to fight the worst possible unit. We improve the stable. Okay, dude. We have like literally no units on the field. And we still... I'm gonna use Alvin Wood here. Oh, I missed Boromir. How? Go for Amir. Go join the party there. Yeah, right through the runes, please, or you die. Please do it. Yes, yes, yes. It's very smart move, Faramir. <laughs> I can't even believe Faramir for it. It's my mistake. And also my hobby died for whatever reason in, in some location. Um, We need more ranges, though. Like, Gondor Knights, they feel legit useless. Just focus on the buildings, exactly. Just ignore this all. Ignore this all. I mean, they are taking every single building is shooting too, you know? That's the dangerous part. Let's stun them. Gandalf, come to this location for a War of Power moment. There is a Witch King. I don't know how, we're gonna, how you are planning, planning to kill him. I have like no clue. You guys go all there to this location, please. I'm going for it. I'm going for it, boys. Be ready now. Boom, son. Kill this witch king, please. Bottom it, don't die, please. Gandalf, would you mind to easter this too, please? That would be quite nice from you. Borrow me, he's king, borrow me! Gandalf, you are too slow. Because you are such an old man who's slow as crazy, um, you couldn't save Borrow me, and Borrow me died just because of you. Okay, I mean, do. Ah, I'm freaking out! Why, what is. Oh, there. Okay, never mind. I was like, how are my Gondonites dying like. Flies in a, in a few seconds. Hold on. I need to destroy this citadel now. Okay, finally. Go, 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 go. Please, go, 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 go. It's unbelievable. This dude is driving me crazy. He's surviving everything. And there's a Balrog. Faramir, do your thing. Fight against him, Faramir. Use one arrow against him. Nice. Go for me, midi sword him. Go for me, show your quality. Make your father did it or proud one time in your life. Okay, full commitment now. I'm just pressing. I know I could have finished this game 10 minutes ago, but I'm, you know, at some point you are becoming lazy and you are hoping that clicking one time with the auto attack button and sending them there would be enough, but it's definitely not enough. But at the end of the day, Gondor, the White City, can't fall. I'm gonna cover this lens here, by the way. All of them at the same time. Yes, all of them. I covered them all. <laughs> and come on now. I imagine the one rune is killing everything, including Gandalf, and getting level 10. Nope, that's not gonna be the case. Look. 
do you see they call the horde production speed they are coming out instantly from the haradrim palace but dude finally finally it took me like i believe three hours to do that i don't know how long we have been playing this but it was very rough you see we have actually killed over 10,000 units in this game 10,000 units remember the scene when uh, grima and saruman were having like a conversation at the orphan you know and grima was like but you know we need thousands for that and then saruman was like tens of thousands that's the ten of thousands tens of thousands we have to kill to get victorious we have also lost 1520 units and we have destroyed nearly 200 structures and lost around 40. look at the money we have almost a million I've, i think i've never gathered that much money a million resources holy quackamole i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did please don't forget to leave a like and again let me know in the comment section down below what you want to see next which faction should we play against which faction in the next video in the 1v7 and um we we need to first of all make the castle one and after the castle one is done we can also try to eventually win in the camp map but i think it's gonna be legit impossible i will see you next time guys <clears throat> sorry my voice and i will see you next time until then take care of yourself keep hitting like a truck and it's always stay beyond standards peace out